Howdy folks, uh, Mr. Teslonian here. I want to do a quick introduction on uh, a larger coil generator setup here from the beginning to the end. Throughout these videos I'll go through building this system. Uh, the other video I showed you was using this coil, how to generate power, in this magnet. Uh, you can see the size and the thickness of both of those, you know, relative. If you hold up one of these coils in relative size, you can see the difference there and in the thickness. These are both 200 wraps, but much larger copper magnet wire. So, and also in retrospect here, the magnet sizes, as you can see, are much different. All right, so let me move that magnet and coil off just a little bit so I don't pick that up. What I got here is 14 coils wrapped, 200 wraps of coil, which is almost three quarters of a mile of copper magnet wire. Uh, I hand wrapped all these over a block that I created that was the same size as this magnet so that my air gap was big enough so that that would drop right in the center of each one of those coils. So what I've got for magnets is 28 of these. These will be lined up equal to, if it's not in motion, with the center of each one of these and on the edges of each one of these. So you'll have north, south, north, south, north, south on your magnetic field going around this and you'll have clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise going around on your coils. And that'll give you your alternating magnetic field and alternating coil directions give you alternating current. So I've got this coil right here hooked up to the meter. I was going to do a quick demonstration and show you the voltage being produced by this coil. Let me move some of these out of the way just a little bit so I don't hit them while I'm doing this. I'm going to zoom the camera in on the meter just a little bit so you can watch what the voltage says. <laughs> well, I hope that's going to be good enough so you can see what it says. I'm going to run this magnet over this and I'm going to show you what the coil is going to produce for electricity. You notice there I'm topping over one volt quite a bit. 1.3, I've seen 1.4 there so far, so almost one and a half volts with my hand speed. Now if I take this same meter and I switch this over, we'll go to first of all AC milliamps, and let's see what it produces with AC milliamps. We go right off the scale to 9, 12, 18 for a second there. Okay, so we're, we're producing 18 amps. Let's go over to DC just to show you. backwards. I got a negative. I got a quarter amp out of it DC. Let me turn that off, switch it back over to voltage. Now you'll notice on DC here, my voltage is much lower. If I can get that to stay there for you. Very low voltage on DC. Switch it to AC and we're immediately over a volt. In fact I saw 1.9 for a second. So with 14 of these coils, and with my hand speed even reaching a 1.5, 1 1.5 volts, with 14 of these, I should easily, at a very low RPM, generate plenty of uh, voltage and even enough amperage uh, to generate the power I need to charge batteries. Save even if we were using this as a DC and it's only a quarter volt, or quarter amp, I'm sorry. You know, you'd go around this and you still get 7 amps out of this system. Uh, or uh, 3.5, I'm sorry, and so you get 3.5 amps at a very low speed if that was what you were getting, but it's going to be much higher than that with the laminates, which are plates of steel, real thin plates of steel with an insulator between them, basically the same coating that's on this magnet wire that creates uh, and gets rid of what's called the eddy effect, which are little swirls like in a river. If you saw the little swirls in a river, the eddies, uh, the magnetic field does the same thing, so to get rid of that, you use little plates instead of a solid bar of iron, and that'll really increase the power from this coil once I get the laminates in it. And I'll show you that as we build those. So I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the rest of the building of this really large generator. Uh, real quick here, I just wanted to show you the size of this. I was going to do that earlier before I tore it apart. Set that kind of back together here real quick notice here, I can set that ruler across, I'll put my finger there on either side, hold that up there and you can notice that's 19 inches in diameter or across. So 
So that's a really large motor generator. Hope you enjoyed Mr. Tesloni's presentation.